Hello, and because you're so to and we're back with another episode of White Island Season 1. Where we last left off, we were being interrogated by the cops, seeing if we were the arsonist of the arson, and we did our little investigation to get information about everyone to see who done it. And I don't know if it's going good or well or not, but we'll see in this episode. I hope that all makes sense. Let's see how it goes. I believe the arsonist already took care of all the phones on the island. I'm sure he knows it too. Why is he still insisting on keeping all of us here? I would like to ask you all to stay calm and wait until Detective Ben Hieko comes back. But you still believe the arsonist is one of us? That cop is the one who looks more suspicious. Detective! You never listen to what I say, do you? I told you to stay quiet! It's just that I have a question to ask you. What is it? Uh, first visit? Is it really your first time on this island? That's right! Are you still trying to do your little investigation? It's because I found something really odd. What's that? I knew you said you've been in this area since you came to this island. So how'd you know there was a telephone near the lighthouse? Oh. Oh, did we get you in a little knot? He's clearly thinking about something. I guess it's just common, eh? It's not so shocking. I don't know. I never leave my house. <laughs> I've been a cop for over ten years. There are things I just know without having to see it. Like, there should have been an emergency phone in a place like a lighthouse. Another thing is, there's always someone with a big mouth at a crime scene like you. Jeez. Jay, we better stop getting on this cop's nerves. Yeah. Sir, the phone line is dead too. Really? If the emergency phone is dead too, we now have no way to contact the mainland. Despite his explanation about the emergency phone at the lighthouse, I still can't believe him. I'm convinced he's hiding something from us. Under the circumstances, I better talk to the big guy to get myself out of here. Oh, also, before I continue, I just wanted to let you guys know, I already did this episode before, but the audio messed up, so I'm redoing it again. <laughs> Hooray for failure. Okay. <laughs> Sir, would you willing to go out there and investigate this island with me together? Do you really think it's necessary? Excuse me? What do you mean? These two are still debating something. I think it's about to come sort of conclusion. The professor we're looking for had a cell phone with him. Is Jiyun trying to get all of us to go out and look for the professor together? If we find the professor, we'll no longer have to waste time. I hate to think of the possibility that he's dead. I really hope not. But even if he is, I believe his body must still be here on this island. Based on what? It's because... I can see he needs my help. Now. The tide. Jiyun, tell him about the tide. That's right. It's because of the tide around this island. The ocean current around this tide is very unique. They even used it strategically during the in ancient naval battle. That's right. You saw that weird ocean current too. If there were any drowned body, it would have shown up near the island shore. And if he hasn't drowned, he has to be still here on this island. But I understand how you can find him now. Since he came here to study the curse of the white flower, we might be able to find him if we tra retrace his steps. Huh? Does Ji Hoon really think the professor got stranded doing research? In Interrupt, I believe. Hold it right there. You don't really think the Professor got stranded somewhere, do you? You guys can't even agree with each other now. Of course. I don't necessarily think the Professor got stranded. What I'm saying is, I don't want to focus on something uncertain. Instead, we should try to predict where he is based on the evidence he left behind. I'm on the same page with you on that. I'm not going to argue with you since you made up your mind. Do you have anything else in mind? I do. I'm not going to force my opinion on you since it's mostly based on just speculation, but... Do you think it would be difficult for us to work separately? We can't just go our separate ways without knowing how to get in touch with each other. What if we use a lighthouse? It can be seen from anywhere on this island. He's right about that. Another lighthouse can be seen from anywhere. Let's do it then. Good luck, buddy. And let's contact each other through the lighthouse when we find something. Sounds good, my friend. We'll see each other soon. Okay, Detective Mianhiko... Strong bodybuilder lover type, can you please help me? Well, that made no goddamn sense. Are you going out there? Yes. I haven't been able to search this island yet. It's been really bothering me. I understand. I'll search this place first. But I'm really concerned what's going on out there, too. I'll be so relieved if you search outside for us. Do you guys really think you can get whatever you want here? I won't let that happen. You all will be under the supervision of Detective Min Hyeko and me. You heard him, right? You can't run around outside alone. 
I was hoping you'd go with me. Me? Go with you? What for? The Huaman, right? Don't you think there might be someone out there who desperately needs your protection? I've checked that out already. I couldn't even find a single person on this island. What about us? Are we nobody to you? <laughs> I thought you cared? I thought we had something then. What the fuck? Are you serious? Are you saying everyone on this island has disappeared? Well, anyway, I think there was a very few women or children on this island in the first place. No, you're wrong about that. Huh? How do you know that? You told me you've never been here before. It's because I saw some pictures since I got here. Hey, that's not good enough. Unless I see it with my own eyes. Mm. I'd better show him that picture with the woman on this island. It's this one, right? Groundbreaking ceremony for White Island Health Clinic. What's this? I don't know this picture even existed. Look over here. Are you trying to contact this woman in this picture? No. I have no idea who she is. Don't you think we should secure her whereabouts? You're right. We should do that first. The message left by the professor in the village had seemed to indicate the health clinic was owned by Fortune Seeker. I think there's something fishy about this doctor. I actually lied to the cop, but I had no choice. Let's hurry over to the health clinic first. Hey, hold it. Should we ask Detective Dayhan for permission to go outside? He looks busy. I'm afraid it will only upset him again. Yeah, you're right. Detective Dayhan seems to be pretty edgy lately. I believe Detective Dayhan will think highly of you if you secure the safety of the residents here. Hey, over there. Are you two going outside now? That's good. I've been dying to get out of here, too. <laughs> You're going with us, too. Since I have a great sense of direction, I'll be really helpful to you. Oh, well. Okay, then. Is your friend coming with us, too? Me? Why don't you stay here and help with other people? Oh, okay. I'll do that. <laughs> Let's get going, kid. Alright, now. We need to cross this place, but we has no bridge. So, sir, we need bridge. Oh, um, sorry. I didn't mean to skip that. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I think we better go to the left first. Better go to the side we haven't been to yet. We can't get to that part of town. How are we going to get there when there's no path? What if we make a temporary bridge and cross over? Nah, I don't think it'll work. First of all, we've got nothing to use for a bridge. I have to find a way to persuade him to go through the block road. The door panel. I think I saw a door panel that wasn't completely destroyed. Over at the community center. Are you saying we should take the door to use for a bridge? Are you sure? It might look alright, but it's a half-burned door. It might collapse while we try to cross. It may not hold three people at once, but if we cross one at a time, it might be okay. Besides, there's not much else left to work with. Alright then, let's give it a try. We'll know for sure once we take her down. Let me help. Alright now. Let's do it together. On my three. Yes! Ugh! Hulk smash! Hulk life smash! Ugh! <laughs> Man, he's like Hercules. Without him, I would have spent hours taking it down. Hell yeah. Let's go use this door. So, this is where you want to put the temporary bridge, right? Yes. It may not look stable, but I think it will hold up for us. Man, it's deeper than I thought. It's making me nervous. Ah, don't be a pussy. Hang on for just a sec. I should check it if it's safe first. Yeah, it's not ideal. But I think we can all get across on it. Oh, a perfect, perfect door. Nothing wrong about it. Not burned, no cracks, no edges, no marks. We are able to get through this bridge safe and secure, with no one dying deep into that hole of mysterious wonder. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Let's cross, one at a time. I'll cross over there and hold it for you, too. Alright, I'll go last. I see. I'll follow the detective, then. Gotta take a look at that good ass. Mm. Oh, shit. My god. I've got you, kid. Hang on. Don't let go of my hand. Ouch. Feels like my arm is gonna rip off. We've gotta do it together. On my three, okay? One. Two. Yes!
It feels like every time he goes, yes, it just he's having a massive orgasm and he's enjoying himself very well. That's what I just think every time he says that. Oh, oh, you're great, detective. Man, that was close. Are you alright, kid? I'm fine. But Detective Minhiko is... Gasp. Gasp. I'm fine. I'm fine. Huh. Huh. But... The bridge... It's totally destroyed. You don't need to hang around here. Why don't you do go on ahead? Don't worry about me. I'll find a way to get it across. Yeah, if you're sure, murderer. Okay, then. We'll be heading to the clinic now. Come on to the health clinic once you get over to this side. Okay. By the way, it's best not to go close down school. I want to be the first one to meet the old lady ghost. <laughs> Man, he's still full of shit. The next thing we should do is find the health clinic. But where the hell is it? If I'm guessing correctly, it has to be that way. I'm quite sure of it. If the first map on the umbrella is correct, that's the only way to get there. But, what is it? Oh, that place? That is, um, a haunted school filled with amazing strippers. S okay. And schoolgirls. Uh, stop. Just stop. I'm being weirder and weirder by the minute. It looks to me like a school. Oh. Is that the building that's haunted by the ghost? Nah. Just a bunch of bullcrap. I don't believe in ghosts. Anyways, the sound's bigger than I thought. The health clinic's the first place to look into, but I got a feeling I might have to search up more than just that one place. Like the school? Should we go to the school first? What did we come here for? It really looks like a ghost could show up at any minute. Man, looking at this place, it wouldn't be that surprising if a ghost really did show up here. I know there's no such thing as ghosts, but it's still pretty spooky here anyway. Okay, a lab coat. And in that lab coat should be... Huh? Something is in its pocket. A key. Hell yeah. And now, we can use that key at 1-3. Huh? It's not like I can throw this key into the keyhole from here. I better get closer to the door and put it in. Okay, okay, fine. Man, how do you know that the key belongs to this door? I just have to know that the key could be the street number of this place. Great job. I know you're smart. Let's go in. How about not? Yet, because we need to go to the health clinic now. So this was the place. The cloth near the warehouse and the message of the village le left behind. I think they all indicated a four-leaf clover symbol after all. But how come the construction isn't completed yet? As far as I know, the construction started quite a long time ago. The health clinic seems to be quite sizable for a small island like this. This forces to get paid for it all. What do you think is so hard about? Since we're here, let's just go in. Yeah. I'll find out more about this place once I get inside. I'm not done monologuing! Jeez, detective! Hold it, sir. Shush. Did you hear that? Oh. I can't hear nothing. My god. What the hell is that? It... It can't be a ghost, can it? Jeez. Who does think this big guy would be scared of ghosts? Uh, uh, well, you never know, so. The bill fell to the ground. This must be an electric bill. The address, uh, south of Chipotle Province. 13 Jamon Village, 13. The receiver is Jong Nam. Jong Nam? That's quite a unique name. 13 Not Genome Village. I know for sure that street address belongs to White Island. I do too. At the very least. It's named someone who works here at the clinic. But, what have they been doing here? The electric bill is outrageous. Oh, probably dastardly things, I'll tell you that much. Okay, now we need to go over to the place right here. Right here, you remember this place, right? And then we use the magnet for that. Uh-huh. And then we go inside. And inside, no one seems to be in. Will it be alright, sir? What do you mean? I mean, we just entered someone's house without permission. Oh well. We can't ask a missing person for permission, can we? Let's just focus on finding the missing residents right now, shall we? Man, I sure made a smart choice to come with Detective Minhiko instead of that mean guy. 
But don't get me wrong. I'm not being nice to you because you used to be a fan. Got it? I see. I should thank the old newspaper clipping for getting me special treatment from this guy. Uh, yeah, you should. You really should. Coarse salt. I need that. Is there anything else? I don't believe there's nothing else in here. So now we can go back to the... No, we can go in here. Because in here, there's something... Oh, yeah, there's that. And then we can go in here and see... What is this place? That this cage has a snake and a mouse. Hold it, kid. Are you trying to hurt yourself? A snake is dangerous. This cage is too narrow to put my hand through anyway. It would have been nice if I had some kind of hook to put in there. Oh, like the umbrella? Huh. I had smart thinking, but first, we need to distract the snake, so yeah, salt. Got it. And then, whew, I got the crowbar. Great. Got it. It's going to be really helpful. Use the whole bag of salt just to get that crowbar. Oh, I guess I really did. Yeah, I did. Now, what I can also do is go back in here because I just forgot that I need a certain key. And I don't know where that key is specifically. I believe it would be somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. A key. What is this key for? And this keychain has a funny looking ornament on it. It looks like a frog or toad. That key can be used for here, so good thing we found it. It's open. Let's take this. We need this fuse. Because this place over here with the key card, the health clinic, it doesn't have a fuse, so the electric ain't working, so we need to put that there. That's awesome. I believe the power should be back on now. Hell yeah. Now we can use the key card. Go in here. Hello, everybody! Where's everyone? It looks like no one's in here. Oh my god. It was the sound of a ghost after all. Oh, I believe it was a human voice. Really? We should find that person first then. But if it's a ghost, I'll be running away before you know it. You better keep up with me. <laughs> Will do. Detective, look. Over here. Huh? Someone must be hiding under the bed. Who's there? Come out! Oh yeah. Tell a scared person to come out and... Who is that? Like, straight... Be the police about it. Be like, come on, I will shoot you. I will shoot you if you do not come out of there. Not like, oh no, it's okay. It's okay, we're not going to harm you. As long as you're not harmful. Don't, don't hurt us. We won't hurt you. No, you're just going to be like, come on, who's there? Please. Who? Who is it? It's... It's a girl. And that... Concludes the episode. Wow. Now, we'll see how it goes in the next episode. Episode 6, The Time of Ghost. So I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll catch you on the next one. Hasta la vista, baby.